And I expect this to be uh, another explosive set, honestly, because both both these players, nope, just going absolutely crazy with their characters. But we got game one over here on our Merchant Port. Yeah, we got the Battle of the Burns. Definitely two very explosive characters in their own right. And uh, we'll see kind of who gets the first big move. The first hit technically going to Luxie, but it's not really anything yet until let's see how this edge guard pans out. Ooh, but uh, Luxie putting himself off putting himself off stage right now and kind of getting a chance for Spiker to go crazy. But Spiker unfortunately missing that bear and ending up off stage. But able to get back, almost get back, and then gets hit by the fair. But he's able to get back immediately and start setting up smoke almost as soon as as soon as he got back. So now we're seeing Spiker go into like neutral to off stage. For sure. And the game feels pretty even so far in terms of exchanges, but a pretty decent percent lead for Spiker. Kind of showing like how much that Zetterburn like spread damage from the fire actually matters, which is something that I don't really like see considered enough. But there's a lot of just like stray fireballs and shines that Lefty's hitting, and while the game is still even, I think those are a big part of what's kept it so close. Absolutely, like five percent for every fire that lands. So it's just slowly building up damage, but that slow damage can be a factor, as you said. And right now, uh, Luxie taking a full advantage of that factor. And on top of all that, like one solid confirm into a strong up, into like a strong into a enhanced strong could just end the stock right then and there. Spike your head yep. like, like that. Exactly. Yeah. No. Zetter is is always on the prowl, and that combination of how early he can heal. With, or can kill rather with the gradual damage it's it's really tough to overcome and uh spike are a great player but like anyone's gonna struggle enough oh sure it's like they say like even in like in any fighting game where it's just like two good players fighting each other even god's complete Right now, Spiker try trying to get this conversion, but unfortunately missing the uh, secondary setup into the conversion that he desperately needs right now. But off stage, having to recover a little bit. <laughs> yep, I, 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 knew Sp I knew Spiker was doing the uh, clone dance. Oh, but it doesn't yeah. matter. Just one conversion into the uh, into the sweet spot up there is going to take it, and Luxie takes game one. A really nice first game, too. A game that I think showed uh, composure, for sure. Uh, because, like, I think Forzerin is a very... Maybe it's just my personal experience. A very tilting character with all the smoke. And to, like, keep your head up in a game that close does take effort. Oh, absolutely, for sure. Because if, if Forzerin's, like, camping you with smoke, it could absolutely be rough for the uh, opponent to deal with. But game two, going to Gates... I'm... I'm Oh wait, right. This is Spiker's counter So I'm, I'm surprised that uh, Luxie left this open because for because Forgeron players love gates. They love treetop as well. So it's like, okay, those are like two wins to ban. But here's what the bans were there. But either way, getting right into it and Spiker evening up the percent right now. Getting the forward or dare, trying to keep uh, Luxie off stage. Dare not gonna quite take it yet. But setting up the smoke, setting up clone pop, and setting up this corner to just keep. Luxie off stage, good fireball to reset the situation, but really forced to fight this recovery right now. Cave, clone, everything coming out. Back air, still not going to take it. Another recovery chance. Double jump, punch back, and missed his cave. Strong. The cave throwing him a bit far to the side, and Lux is back on stage, evening up the game pretty much. Like, both of these players are a hit to kill, so. Yeah, absolutely. Like, hit the kill they need to do because right now, both of them trying to get this kill finally gets the kill with the FK. But every time they go for like a kill move, they get swatted out by one of their defensive options. So it's like, okay, well, now we're just back in neutral, or well, now we're back in a situation where one player's off stage, the other is trying to recover. And it's back yeah. and, that, and again, another reversal up there to just take the stock, and we're even stocks right now. Yeah, and a pretty close game, too. Um,. Spiker, very thankfully, getting a little bit of damage on at the beginning of that second stock before losing his own. Because I think with that very long edge guard sequence, Spiker was, like, hoping for that stock and hoping that 
you know, he would be able to build a bunch of this percent early, but now he's not even in the percent lead anymore. And that's just sometimes what happens when you have an edge guard that long and it just doesn't work out. And now the whole situation is kind of reversed, Luxy. That, exactly. like, the that last situation is leading to a, to a stock from Luxy right now. Just constant edge guarding into an up strong, killing at around 100%. Just, it's the perfect amount of percent for. Uh, for Zetter to just take stocks at, and right now Spiker getting the up strong as well, and evening up the game again. The, there, this has been back and forth. There's never been like a clear leader here. Just constantly, who's off stage first takes the most percent. Spiker trying to go for the triple bear, gets another bear and takes a oh. stock. Luxy unprepared to di that bear. Yeah, that kind of caught me off guard almost with just how quickly it killed, but. Sets even up in games now, one to one. We're moving to Rockwall. If there's any place to break a tie, this is the stage. Absolutely. See, th this is like this is the momentum stage right now, where any any one conversion could just lead to a kill right away. And Zetterburn, like we said, known for these conversions. It doesn't even matter if the top boss on these is a uh, normal size. It's just a matter of okay, well now I'm just gonna now I'm just gonna take the stock off and just kill you anyway. And if I kill you early, even better. Yeah, of course, but uh, despite those small zones, Spiker surviving that fire up strong was a little bit under 100. Probably shouldn't have expected it to kill, but uh, doing, again, just like the CEO ring game from last set, doing a great job of survivability on this very small stage. As big as the land mass looks, the blast zones tell a very different story. Absolutely. And right now, again, just that, that back you're taking it, and yeah. Spiker can take us take the first stock, but immediately gets hit with a Gatling and stops her even again. Yeah, these two talk about a talk about a good fight for sure. And right now, Spiker getting this, tries to go for the dare, tries to go for the down strong, but unfortunately doesn't quite catch it. But is still able to convert off of these tiny hits. And right, Luxy off stage right now. Tries to go for the bear setup and gets it. Gets double bear and now Spiker with the first solid lead this set. Yeah, we'll see what he manages to do with it, if anything. He's kind of already in the edge guard now. Gets hit by the up strong, not gonna do it. The Gatling, just a little bit too low percent right now, but. Yeah, and as I say that, uh, Luxy putting Spike it already to 100%, showing that that lead, yeah, it's big, but it doesn't matter. One one or two conversions can easily reset the situation. And there is the kill confirmed. Back air to up air. And again, back even stocks with, with a little bit of extra credit from Spiker, 49%. See, let's see if Spiker can make that extra credit count. Beautiful tech case. Getting Luxy up to those high percent. Spiker just kind of needs to be careful here. Uh, he can take a lot of damage at once and lose the stock for it, but he only needs like one or two more good hits to send Luxie straight into game four, down a game. And Spiker trying to take this game with the downstrongs, but not quite landing it. Upkick still not landing it, but the downstrong will take it, and Spiker will be taking game three. Yeah, finding the very edge of that hitbox there, sending straight up, and that's just a really good find at that point in the set, you know? Just like finding that like good kill you already had decent momentum into the game three and now into the game four you're looking clean and poised to just like show why you can take it right here uh exactly. going to treetop lodge but another stage that that you mentioned earlier is a good force burn stage but this time it's not which, Luxy which taking it because, over. yeah because this is Luxy's counter pick yeah I do and think, oh. Spiker, unfortunately, SDing. Oh no, we can't. It, that, that's not good. We cannot have SDs here when you need to no, take, take heavy momentum. But maybe Spiker able to get a chance with the upkeep still missing. And oh no. So close to making the stock clean, too. I do think, though, backtracking a small bit. When it comes to this game in particular, I think stage comfortability is a very big factor, even more than like. Uh, you know, there are some stages that characters do and don't want to play on, but there's a lot of stages that if the player likes it, then it's fine. And uh, Luxy does look comfortable here, for sure. Luxy oh, yeah. Com stock, but... Yeah, comfort picks are definitely a king when it comes to this game. Yeah, so, for sure. For sure, you can trounce any, like, bad stage, because, like, if you're comfortable on the stage, then by all means, go to it. 
Yeah, and what's he almost finding the sock there with the shine spike? Not quite, but uh, hatch spiker in a long enough edge guard. A lot of the smoke of the stage is now cleared out and uh, kind of takes away a lot of Force Burn's, you know, possible mix up now that you can see him. Yeah, but again, another back at an up air. Luxy constantly landing these back air up airs and taking full advantage of it. Oh, really wow. good reverse from Spiker to land the bear. And yeah, we're dead even Fox again. Luxy seeming to find the first hit here, but not converting into much. We do have a little bit of off stage play, but still at low enough percent where it could or could not add up to much. Yeah, Luxy sure. being well aware of the clone, finding big hits here. Definitely building the lead of this last stock. We'll see and if he's able to take it in his chest. The same way as Spiker's Bear took in game, game 3, and we have ourselves a Game 5. This is an exciting one. Going to Forest Floor, honestly, pretty, pretty neutral for both these characters right now. Both yeah, characters absolutely. take full advantage of the Blast Suns and the stage layout to just continue their game plan. And Ruxy already showing what what for what as uh, he does 50% to Spiker in one conversion. Yeah, and Spiker firing back. Percents are still pretty even this early in the game, which sometimes after you see one big combo, you don't always see that second, so... We'll see kind of who makes the most of it. Mo but yeah, this is very back and forth in this first 30 seconds. Exactly. Uh, neither player on a, on a definitive edge here, but both trying to set up for their confirms here and playing and dancing around each other to set up the one hit that can just end the stock right there. Biker off stage right now, having to find an edge to get back and gets baited by the clone. Yeah, they will get back on stage. The buff doesn't matter, just landing the uh, da dash attack to forward air. Take the first stock, and Biker, uh, he needs to land this confirmed. Gets the sweet star spot, spot there, and gets the uh, Luxie off stage. Kill. Having a really hard time keeping this kill. We got we got Kate's on deck. Yeah, but there's the parry in the down strong. There we go. Once again, dead even stocks. I'm. Very surprising this keeps happening, but I'm not. These players have shown that, that honestly, it doesn't matter if you have a lead or not. We, you know, just one or two good conversions and a, and a good edge guard can just take the stock right then and there. Yeah, and Biker's just getting more of that smoke up, just trying to control more and more of the stage. Yeah, another, but... another back up there, not gonna quite get the sweet spot this time, but Spiker at 90, uh, 100%. Shine up strong, good DI from Spiker to avoid that. Gatling again get the eye, but Spiker having a fight for this stage right now. Yeah, for sure. Getting hit Ooh. by the clone teleporting in. Yeah, clone pop giving Spiker a second chance for this edge guard. Back air, not gonna quite take it yet, but Luxy off stage. Both these nah, guys gotta make it back up. Rough. Oh no! And Spiker yeah. with a never mind. Even <laughs> last stock, yeah. <laughs> Even last stock. Spiker getting hit and heaving it up, heaving it up. We'll see how the game deciding stock goes here. One of these two is moving to winner's finals, one kill. Yeah. Who's getting it first? One, it, 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 one, it, two conversions and a good edge guard, or one conversion and a good edge guard, it doesn't matter. One good edge guard could just end it right then and there. And right now, really good from once again in the back air, getting a second chance on stage. He's able to land on stage right now, getting some extra fire damage on Spiker. Spiker trying to get these kick confirmed, but eating that fair and, now, and is now off stage. Tries to go for a shine spike. Like get it. Gets it on the right clone. Oh, goes just off for a shine punish. Probably tries to go for to go for up shine up strong, but didn't quite get the up strong input out. Yep, and now Spiker we have... getting right back on stage to the smoke on top. And again, just staying off stage. Good, good on uh Luxie to take the smoke out. But <laughs> I got baited. I wasn't I was thinking that was the wrong one. Oh no. Oh, they yeah. find each other. Forward tilt. Ooh, Not horrible. gonna find the forward air to kill it. But another yeah. forward tilt back off stage. Luxy looking clean, looking ready to take the game in one Ooh. more smash attack. But their percent's getting a bit high too. Oh, but the down strong takes it. Gonna be taking it the quick. 
frame four, frame five, down strong. I think it's five. It's yeah, it's fast. It's really fast. But yeah, let's see. Moving on to fight Soul Rifle in winner's finals. Yeah, that was a quite a show from both players, but Luxie's going to be the one to take the victory in the end.